The opera mushroom is an artificially engineered fungus developed by a team of researchers at the University of Reuters Department of Genetics. It has a fleshy, violet, trumpet-shaped, fuzz-covered stem that amplifies a natural sound created by the expansion and contraction of the hyphae as water passes through it. Because the mushroom is easily grown on spacecraft, it became popular as an onboard plant shortly after its commercial debut in 2925. In 2918, genetics graduate students Morvane Sene and Phil Ektos started a project to create an edible version of the fast-growing purple chimney mushroom, a toxic fungus indigenous to Rees. Dr. Yuki Hexa, Sene's advisor, joined the project after Sene and Ektos presented their early results, a mushroom with a deeper funnel shape and slightly less toxicity. As the team made further modifications to the mushroom's genetic code, the toxicity failed to fall to levels safe for human consumption but the divot in its stem deepened. One night, Ektos heard a strange tone in the lab and traced it to the latest generation of mushrooms. The team agreed to reframe their project to bring out the new audio qualities of the mushroom. By the end of 2920, they had developed a stable breeding population of mushrooms that produced varying tones depending on their size. Sene created a personal garden of the mushrooms in her dorm room, arranged so they resembled performers on a tiny stage. Hexa suggested the name Opera Mushroom after seeing this display. In early 2921, Ektos and Sene submitted their work on the Opera Mushroom to their dissertation committees and were awarded doctorates. After a four-week growing period, the constant motion of water through the mature mushroom causes ballistic spores to slowly eject from the trumpet. After these spores fall onto a suitable substrate, they take root into a mycelium, from which the mushrooms emerge. More and more mushrooms grow as the mycelium spreads underground, sometimes resulting in a widening ring-like pattern. Places where opera mushrooms grow can often be heard before they are seen. Samples of the opera mushroom were made available to plant nurseries on Rees in 2925. Thanks to its novelty and fast growth cycles, the fungus was an instant hit. It became a popular houseplant, especially for long-haul spacefarers in need of something low maintenance to decorate their holds. Skilled gardeners can grow mushrooms in arrangements that produce harmonising tones. In 2926, a wild, self-sustaining population of opera mushrooms was discovered 11 kilometres from the University of Rita's genetics lab. The mushrooms continue to grow in the wild on Rees today. It's a day of the Vara tradition for some social organisations on the University of Rita campus to tell ghost stories in nearby woodland with known opera mushroom populations, to try and trick first-year students into believing the woods are haunted. Some people say I shill for NordVPN, but listen to some of these comments that I just made up. I've never fed the love of a woman before, but then I got NordVPN, and that didn't matter. Doctor said I'd never walk again, but then I got NordVPN. Now I've been running marathons. Also, I got robot legs around the same time. They might have helped somewhat too. Arr, I was a tone-deaf pirate, but after getting NordVPN, I'm able to play the saxophone. Go on, Zin, try and animate all of this. Click the links below to get NordVPN. It might lead you to a more fulfilling life, but more likely, it will just help protect you from the terrors of the internet. What ship are we giving away in October? It is one of the most exciting ships we've given away, and one of the most popular. It's the Argo Cargo. So many people liked it, we thought we'd give one away, instead of a Mercury Star Runner, or a Carrack, or something else. You can do fun things, like fly around a planet, or fly very slowly into the sun. And it also makes my top 16 ships that I liked in the ship showdown this year. Me and Zin are sort of on a holiday for a week, so we had to quickly film a ship giveaway. So we do have Citizen Con coming up, and we might have some other things going on on the channel that will make it worth your while commenting. So do what you want. I'm not your dad. You should definitely press the join button below my videos, though. And you should certainly like and subscribe and bell bother. Click on the bell. I don't know what it does, but it makes me money somehow. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Thanks very much for watching, though, and I'll see you in the next one.